So I just wanted to give you guys a little update um, about my rarity. No, really. Um, the past six months, a lot of really weird stuff has been going on for me medically, I guess, physically, I don't know. Um, first I had the, um, butterfly rash that I went to the dermatologist. Well, first I went to the allergist and she was like, oh, okay. I don't think it's eczema, but here's some cream for eczema and see if it works. And it did. But then I went to the dermatologist and she was like, oh, it's rosacea. Here's some cream for rosacea. <laughs> it did not work at all. Um, so then I started using a vitamin C serum, like $5 at, at Walmart. Like, why not try it, you know? And it didn't fix it, but it has, it has helped a lot. So that, and then my tongue, still there. And I've been to the infectious disease doctor and they've did two cultures and they say that it's not thrush, even though it looks like thrush and it tastes like thrush and it presents like thrush. Apparently it's not thrush. So was it from my corticosteroids? Nobody knows. I actually went to my lung doctor today and she was like, well, if it's not thrush, then why can't you go on your inhaler? And I was like, because we don't know what it is. <laughs> um, and then I had, if you saw, you might have saw the post a couple, well, about a month ago, a little, maybe two. Um, the cortisone injection that I got in my ankle got infected, maybe? I know it got infected, but I don't know if that was the cause of all of it. Anyways, instead of it just being like a little pinpoint like like if you drew blood or something along those lines I started getting bigger and then it turned into a blister and then the blister got bigger and then I had streaking red streaking going up my leg and down my foot and it was hot and yeah was it three weeks I think I was on antibiotics for that one I finally scabbed over and came off and now I have a lovely scar that I still don't know exactly what it's from because when I tell somebody it's from a cortisone injection they look at me like I'm crazy so and what else um I got a flu shot I always get a flu shot I've gotten a flu shot for the last like ever I don't even know ever and I got a bruise never have I ever gotten a bruise but I was like oh okay well maybe he just gave it to me weird I had a bruise for two weeks. That's, that's not normal for me. So, of course, when you tell the doctor that, they're like, oh, he just gave it wrong. Oh, this. Oh, that. Oh, this. And I'm like, no, guys. Like, it's not, it's not normal. Um, so, like I said, I've been to the infectious disease doctor. She's ran a plethora of tests, and they've all been negative. Even the autoimmune tests come back negative. Although they think I have an autoimmune that isn't actually tested for. It's a diagnosis of exclusion. So that's fun. That means that they have to rule out every other thing before they're like, oh, okay, it's that. Um, but the one that they're thinking that it is, is Ashley just told me how to say it earlier. It's um, besets. Maybe. I've been calling it Bichette's. I, I don't know. It's B-E-H-C-E-T-S. It's an autoimmune disease. It's very, very, very rare. Of course it is. Because it's me. Of course it's rare. Of, of course it is. Um, so it causes um, sores. And, I mean, you can read about it. There's a lot of other things that fit. But, I find it very interesting. Uh, if you know anything about my eye journey over the last eight years. Yeah, eight years. Um, 2013, I, one day I woke up, my right eye hurt. Don't know why. 
it just hurt and it got worse and worse and worse and then a month later my left eye started hurting so we went through every test imaginable tried everything imaginable neuronsin um nerve blocks surgery on and on and on and on and on cleveland duke here um and nobody in eight years can tell me why my eyes hurt in fact most of the people tell me your eyes can't hurt and i'm like are you kidding me you're telling me the person that has had five eye surgeries very 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 invasive eye surgeries let alone that my eyes can't hurt they can if you've had a hair in your eye or a piece of glitter in your eye it hurts this isn't like that type of hurting though it's like a ache that never goes away in both eyes gets worse when i let's say go to the store and those fluorescent lighting things like that it gets worse when i move my eye in sudden movements when i go all the way to either side it gets worse several other things that it gets worse but until now they've said oh yeah i don't i don't know i don't know well guess what one of the major symptoms of this besets or whatever the hell you i don't even know how to say it anyways one of the major symptoms eye pain eye pain so now we acknowledge eye pain are we are we serious right now <laughs> so yeah i've been to like every doctor i've tried plethora of medicines um currently i'm on antibiotics for a month which will probably turn into a year just because that's what happens apparently it's a low dose clindamycin i believe i would have to look but i think it's clindamycin and i'm waiting on a referral to rheumatology because that's apparently who deals with autoimmune diseases even though the ones that they've tested for are negative apparently she has to be the one or he or whoever has to be the one that gives me the official diagnosis for that which is yeah it should be really fun to tell somebody that i have marfans and this and i can't even say this and and i expect them to know about it it it, it should be really fun and i also am supposed to go to the oral surgeon to get a biopsy of my tongue which sounds terrible the dentist I, I just went there actually the other day too to get a cleaning dentist you know you would think like oh okay they've probably seen this blah 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 no I had no idea what it was and he was like oh yeah it's thrush and I was like no but it's not it's not thrush so he was like well I don't know that that's really really weird and blah 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 and when you get a biopsy you're probably they're probably going to have to take like a slice out of your tongue and I'm like I thought we were talking like a needle biopsy here so And he was like, well, what do they want to biopsy? Is it the blisters? Is it the white? Is it the this? Is I don't know. We're just doing a tongue biopsy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I've been to so many doctors in the last six months. It's been very rough. And just like, I mean, all my life, think random things that don't seem to be connected. But the last six months, it's like, that can't not be connected you know what I mean like it's really really weird and none of it has been able to be explained so I don't know I just wanted to give you guys a little update because I mean there might be a slight rare chance that maybe one of you have had this or know about this maybe anyways it's um very rare so, <laughs> when I know more, I'll tell you more, but that means I have to know more, and that means the doctor has to know more, and they don't know more. So, yeah, send me all your positive vibes, because as we know, 
being out here guessing, not having a clue what's going on is, is very rough, like emotionally and mentally. And I've even been to my cancer doctor and like, nobody knows, nobody knows. It's just real freaking weird. Um, and like the, the infectious disease doctor and the cancer doctor, like, of course I want answers, but I don't necessarily want your answers because your answers are very, very bad. So neither of them gave me answers. So I guess that's good, but I still don't have answers. And I know you guys know what that feels like because a lot of times we don't get answers and we don't get diagnoses. And, and even if we do, it takes forever. So I know you guys feel my pain here. It's been six months already. Actually, we were probably pushing into seven now. And I don't see it ending anytime soon, even if I do get the diagnosis. So, yeah. But when I know something, I'll let you know something. 